This is the Touchstone Onyx wall-mounted electric fireplace. I'm going to take a few moments here and show you some of the ins and outs of it. This is the control panel on the side of the unit. It gives you five different flame settings. It gives you two different heat settings and it has a timer setting that allows you to uh, time the unit to auto turn off anywhere between 30 minutes to 8 hours and you can see at the top the dots on the top represent how much time is left on that timer so that's where you can do all your general controls from this is the Onyx's remote it lets you control all the things you just saw on the side of the cabinet uh, from the remote control itself um, this takes the flame level down this takes the flame level up this turns the heat on, this sets the timer, and this is your on and off. It's pretty straightforward. As again, as I mentioned, there are five different heat settings for the unit. Or five different flame settings, two different heat settings. The front of the unit is made of glass, which is mounted onto the metal box where the flame, the uh, artificial flame is. At the top of the box is where the heat comes out of the unit, where the two heat settings are. It's a pretty small element heats about uh, up to about four to five hundred square feet of space. Um, when you're handling it you want to be careful with it because the uh, metal box is mounted to the uh, glass with a bonding uh, agent. There's no screws or anything that go through the glass so if you're lifting you gotta be careful where you would lift the cabinet from. You always want to hold it from the actual box from the metal box in the back. I've turned down the lights here in the conference room so you can get a handle on and get a real view of what the fireplace settings are like. This is the middle setting which comes on when you turn the unit on. Um, having the lights out gives a little better look of it. The flames actually look pretty realistic. They did a nice job with them. I can go down from here from the middle setting. That is the number two setting there. And that is the lowest setting where basically it's just embers at that point. I can go back up, that's the number two setting, that's the number three setting, that's the number four setting, and that's the number five setting, that's the maximum flame setting. So it's pretty easy to control using the remote or you can control it from the side panel controls. Here's a close up of the flame settings. You can see the glass logs inside and where the flames come up from the back. Um, gives you a nice view of what the flame settings look like. That takes it down to, that's the number four setting. That's the number three setting. So that's what the default setting is. And I think you can get a better look at the ember setting from here too. It gives you a nice view of what you're looking at. It actually looks really nice. It's, it's pretty authentic looking. From here I'm going to turn the heat setting on. So you, get, you can get an idea of what, uh, what it sounds like when the heat does come on. This is the heat control button here. This is where you change your flame intensities. So I'm going to turn on the heat. That's the first setting. As you can see marked here, that's where the, the base setting is at. And I hit it again. The fan goes up a little bit. And that's the max setting. And a third time the, the heat element goes off. But the fan will stay on for a moment as the element cools down. So that's your summary of the Onyx 50 inch wide wall mount electric fireplace. Uh, give you an idea of what the controls were, the remote were, what the flame settings were, the heat settings, and for handling, how to handle the glass. Uh, go to touchstonehomeproducts.com for additional information on this unit. This is the Touchstone Onyx wall-mounted electric fireplace. I'm going to take a few moments here and show you some of the ins and outs of it. This is the control panel on the side of the unit. It gives you five different flame settings. It gives you two different heat settings and it has a timer setting that allows you to uh, time the unit to